There it is. Good morning. Good morning and wake. Uh, man, I did it again. Good morning and welcome to Wake Up Real Estate. Ryan uh, has got, he's, he's sporting the new Wake Up Real Estate hat. Got some shades. Uh, recovering from his uh, his birthday yesterday. Uh, good morning, Mike. Good morning, Adrian. Good morning, Mark. Tackling today's tiny tasks 1% at a time. It's Texting Tuesday. That's a whole lot of T's. Uh, it's Texting Tuesday. And I actually have two different simple scripts that I'm going to share that uh, if you use them, will get you into conversations and create appointment opportunities for you. Um, if, uh, if you, if this is your first time or your 22nd time joining us, right? This is our 22nd episode one way or another, uh, please like comment, subscribe and sm sm smash the like, uh, and actually smash the bell, smash the bell. Yeah. You can't miss these live sessions. Um, yeah. speaking of which we have a live session later today, we have a live session later okay. today. And so you don't miss it. You definitely want to smash the bell. Subscribe. Explain, to the, explain the bell to people. If you click that uh, notification bell on YouTube, it'll let you know about all the stuff. Exactly. It'll it, it, You'll get notified of new live sessions when Ryan adds a, a, a tutorial or how to, if I add a short form video or something like that. Uh, and you can do the same on Facebook. If you're watching in the group, you can turn on notifications. I think it's a bell there yep. as well. Um, so go ahead and do that so you don't miss out on anything. Um, we've got lots of good stuff as usual today. And uh, why don't we kick it off with the question of the day? Ryan, go ahead. You, it was your question. I don't want to steal yeah. your thunder. Just simple one. What what percentage of your business comes from investors? Is it more than 50%? Is it 20%? You know, it, how, it doesn't have to be precise, right? Just your yeah. best guess. What Let percentage of business do you do from investors? This and just comment question. wherever you're watching. Uh, we'll be fully transparent. The comments help the algorithm. So we really appreciate you saying something, even if you say zero or I really dislike investors or something like that. That's totally exactly. fine. Any answer will help. So yes. comment below one way or another, please. And thank you. Uh, that would be great and super helpful. Uh, Adrian says zero. David says very, very little. Uh, I like this one, 40%. I, let us know who that is. Facebook, it would be yeah. We'd be very appreciative if you'd let us know who those who those are. Uh, now only about ten percent. It used to be fifty percent. That's Chris Pataki. I know that. Uh, yeah. Ernest says zero. Okay. Hmm. Ernest says yep. zero. Interesting. Interesting. Keep keep those comments flowing below. And uh, while those are coming in, let's let's uh, jump right to the uh, social post of the day. Yeah, I kind of just was lazy on this one again. Um, uh, basically Facebook sent me a memory of my, uh, Charlie here when he was probably five, six years ago when he was a lot younger, he had a, a mustache, thought it was funny and people like kids. So if you have kids or grandkids or nieces and nephews, and you want to exploit them a little bit, uh, just an idea, just, just tie it in somehow. He was standing on the beach. You should probably live closer to the beach question mark. And then a link to waterfront homes in Pinellas County using our map trick. That is, it, it, you made it sound like, you, you know, I don't know. You, 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 uh, Made it sound easy. Yeah, and and it and it is right, but it's great, right? So you're 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 tying in your own family. You've mm -hmm. got a real image of a local beach there, and then making a natural transition into you know it's gonna it's gonna be a pattern interrupt for people scrolling their feeds. Mm -hmm. Right, they're gonna be curious what that is. You know what what what's this little kid with a mustache? Oh, it's the beach back there, and oh, what's that map view? And uh, I love it. I love it. It's really, really good stuff. Really good stuff. So and just take comments. that and apply it to anything local to you. It doesn't need to be a beach. Just. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Pattern interrupt. Right. And then make some sort of uh, transition offer to get more information to look at cool stuff one way or the other. Got, got Keep getting some great comments here. Uh, Daphne, this year, 30 percent so far. Short term rentals. Um, uh, Lance, often more than 50 percent short term rental home investors. Lance is in the Orlando uh, yeah. Florida area. So that, you know, that makes sense. Right. Um, so good stuff. Keep those comments below coming below. What percentage of your business approximately comes from investors? Yeah. Uh, what else we got on, on the docket uh, here, Ryan? Quick updates from yesterday. Uh, I don't even know if I have the share code video up. It's on the YouTube channel, but I'll get it on the site shortly. We did that KV core share code about your campaign yesterday. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, so that, that should be hitting the YouTube channel and the website. And we also had 
What else did we do yesterday? We had. I'll just, I'll just tie that in real quick. If you missed yeah. yesterday's show, for, first of all, go back and check it out. Second of all, what I shared was an automated smart campaign, which is what KB Core calls it, it, but it, an automated follow up sequence. Uh, and what that, uh, the, the some of the components and how many days and so forth uh, for a new campaign that we've got going. So we shared that. For those of you that got that have KB Core, we'll give you the share code. If you don't have KB Core, we'll just give you the templates. You can model them in whatever platform uh, you're using in, in some form or fashion. And the takeaway is it's working really well. It's working really well. Um, and I've gotten more engagement even since yesterday from that automated follow-up. It'll be on the scripts and templates uh, email section right after the episode today. I did the work this morning, but then forgot to upload it. Oops. Yep. Well, all good. <laughs> It'll be there soon enough for sure. Yep. Uh, macro and mortgage, Josh, what are rates doing? I haven't been paying attention. Um, well, hey, one, one other thing. So that if you missed yesterday's non-QM class, the non-traditional mortgage class, if you just go to non-qmclass.com for right now anyway, it's just pointing right to, it'll just forward you right to the YouTube video oh. replay. So yeah. for now, at some point, we may put something into place with some of the resources that were mentioned, et cetera. But I would just wanted to get that squared away because I had lots of people asking for the replay. I wanted to make it as easy as possible for the time being uh, for, for those to check that out. All, All right, right. Now let's get into some uh, some macro mortgage. I know Jerome Powell is speaking maybe now or this morning okay. to okay. the Senate. So everybody knows who Jerome Powell is, right? The, the Fed chief guy, uh, the head honcho at the Fed. He usually makes markets go insane. So we might see some activity in mortgage rates say they're they're going up a little bit today. A little bit so far, but that can change. And one, one of the interesting things, so with uh, I'm at Nexa, we're a national mortgage broker. We've got access to the, the, the greatest number of wholesale lenders and programs and products, et cetera. So I get a lot of communications by email because I'm with Nexa. And I'll sometimes on a day like today, I would I'm going to fully expect that I'm going to get at least several emails telling me that you know rates are up, rates are down, lock people in, things of that nature. Um, so it's the kind of thing that that can be dynamic even throughout the day, let alone throughout the week, month, and year. They do they do not like what he's saying in the stock market. Whatever he's saying right now at the moment, this is a three minute chart. People do not like, and that's causing the uh, dollar index to go up, which will cause uh rates to go up yeah interesting so interesting. rates are going to go up today it looks like so that's that that's enough of that geekery josh do you have anything on mortgage specific programs i know you did the non-qm yesterday but anyway. um so uh i just want to keep reiterating non-qm with everything that's going on with um you know with with rates being all over the place and so forth i just continue to to believe and see a huge opportunity in serving self-employed yeah. business owners and investors tying into the question of the day, what percentage. Um, and we have lots of programs. I had gotten an email that I wanted to highlight here. I don't even remember. Um, I don't know where I can find it here, but Gosh. it was it was one year PL, one year bank statement, one year uh um uh 1099, right? Like if 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 you have someone that they can document one year's worth of either bank statements, profit and loss statement, 1099. Uh, there are options for them, especially if they've got, you know, plus credit. And a lot um, of people have equity right now in there because of what's happened in the markets the last few years. And you can, there's there's some creative stuff around that too. So totally. Totally. Josh, I, I just, we're, I think we should say it every day. Knowing that stuff will help you do more deals. It's just, no question. No question. I think it's a cheat code versus your competition. It gives you a competitive advantage in your marketplace. If you're the one that is aware uh, of, of these programs and and knows or has connect connections with, you know, for example, us, our mortgage team or others, right? It doesn't have to be us, but you've got, you have the, 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 the awareness that these programs exist, number one, and then the problem solving team to, to, you know, figure out a way to make things happen, right? Because there's the, there's, you know, the fact that the programs exist, but then also there are some instances where you have to get creative about maneuvering the finances to make things work or to, or to get, uh, uh, you know, folks to be able to fit inside whatever the box is for that program. Right. And so having that is a significant competitive advantage for you in your market. It just is, you know, because, and, and in fact, I'll, I'll highlight, I'll just a quick side story here. 
the first two clients that I sold homes to when I reactivated my license and went back into actively uh, producing, right? Actually selling real estate in my local market. The very first two, I picked them up. Number one, I picked them up from a Facebook marketplace ad. Uh, go back and watch episode 20 and episode 15 of Free Leads Friday. Um, go back and watch those. Uh, uh, seriously. How do you remember, How do you remember 15 and 20? I'm, I'm, yeah, I mean, I, I, it's my job, right? It's my job. Okay. So if you go back and watch those, uh, in particular, Laura Stoddard is having tremendous success with Facebook Marketplace ads. Anyway, that's where these two folks came from. And I was able to, um, you know, I earned their um, uh, their business as a client because I was the one that didn't tell them. They had previously been, previously been told, we can't help you. And I found a way to help them. So not only did we problem solve the financing, but then we were able to find them a house that made sense. The very first two clients and we're in, um, you know, we're going back to more being like that. That was at the beginning of 2020, right? Before the pandemic and COVID, all of that. And that's, you know, that's the reality of what we're in. When you're the one that's saying, um, uh, how can we, not sorry, we can't, right? How can we make this work? You're going to earn more business for sure. And and everybody kind of snubbed that business for a few years because things are easy and easy. Um, and if we go into more normal or tough marketplace, you want to have that head start learning about this because everybody's going to flock to the foreclosures and the REO, you know, yep. whatever, short sales. Just just start learning it now. Um, yep. Uh, quick update, Josh. We'll, we'll skip to just real quick on that campaign on Google that I was doing to try to get phone calls. Yep. Um, just it, it kind of was a funny. I'll just share the game plan. Uh only no more phone calls generated, but happily in this little kind of market here, this little town, we're generating Google leads, 23 leads so far at $11 a piece off Google, high intent, good conversations. So we're happy about that, uh, but no more calls. And next week, my goal, Josh, and over the next week or two is to really get local services ads going for the local shop. And I think I'll record what we do. I know there's a process where they have to mail you something and verify. Yep. Yeah. So, so uh, look out for that later this week. I'm going to kind of record myself doing that process. Perfect. And we do have, we do have tutorials on that already. Um, I I'll had get them on the site. With somebody on our, uh, on, in my EXP sales organization, but it's probably changed at least slightly since then. I'm, I'm the, 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 the big picture steps I'm sure are similar, but some of the yeah. small things may have changed. So we'll get that added for those interested, and then Ryan will document it for uh, for you know what's how to how it looks right here and now. And, and the other thing that's spurring this on for me, I got a notice from Google Business or whatever. I have I must have done a test years ago at my current address, and it says Ryan Hartman, real estate agent, and it had thirty two views that profile in the last month, and it was like a quick test I threw up. So this is this is definitely something important to get on. And if you guys are doing this already, just comment below, maybe share a link to your Google uh, business listing and, and tell us a little bit about what you're doing on this front to help everybody. Yeah, so I have a dilemma with my Google business listing right now, and I'm trying to figure out what to do. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to throw this out there. Uh, this wasn't, I, I hadn't planned, but we were going here. So with eXp, we have, we have, you know, we're a virtual brokerage, but um, in, in, every state we have offices and in particular in Pennsylvania we have to have physical office addresses that every agent must be associated with well the one that I've been associated with that I have my Google business listing associated with just closed chocolate Ave what's that chocolate app yeah. so she just <laughs> closed that that address oh bummer yeah the address that I can associate with most locally, the the folks that are in charge of that office do not want me to to use their office address. Um, they believe that I would be taking whatever. Um, Josh, it's flawed thinking, but I have a proposal here for you live. The, the house you're selling me in York is is in a commercial area, so we we'll, we will set up. Uh, if you don't mind, okay. York so I, we could do that. Number one. Yeah. So what yeah. I'm trying to decide between is this something like that. Using yeah. my physical, my my actual home address, which is where I work from most often, and, yeah. and I don't care um, about the you know the privacy of that or whatever, because if somebody wants to find me, they can find where I live. Period. Like the, we, we can't, you can't hide anymore in in you know in the world we live in. And then my other thought was, 
do I get a either a P.O. box, which I have somebody on my team that has successfully done that, although it's a little gray hat in Google's eyes, or do I get a UPS, yeah, a UPS actual uh, mailbox, which I actually have one, but there's a new, op- anyway, I'm trying to decide the best way to proceed. With I think that. you're being a cheapskate, just get an office. <laughs> Well, I had thought about <laughs> I had thought about doing that as well. The only problem with that is, well, not the not the problem with that. I don't know that I want the hassle of going through the Pennsylvania state oh, yeah. nonsensical stuff to make it an actual real estate office. I may end up doing that. I don't know, um, but I, I just I don't know. I'm just talking through my. There's got to be somebody cool there at your company in the area who. You probably just don't know who they are. There's going to be somebody in the region who's got a space. Andrew, yeah. you are inspiring me. I'm just going to, for now anyway, I'm just going to use my home address. If if it's good yeah. enough for Andrew Robinson, who's selling luxury real estate uh, yeah. in, in Ohio, then it's good enough for me. So for now, that's probably what I'm going to do. But I will look into other solutions, uh, you know, for the long term, because that, that I don't know that that's ideal long term, but maybe it is. I don't know. I mean... Uh, the reality is, you, that is where my office is. Like, I'll rent you the first floor of my new house, uh, about 2000 a month. It's all good. <laughs> Very nice. A okay. steal, a steal. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, Daphne says, Do I have a Regis nearby? Daphne, do you know where we live? There is no, <laughs> the closest Regis is in Philly. Philadelphia, which is two hours away. Uh, we don't have Regis. Um, and, yeah. Uh, you might have co working. And, and that's a good, that's a good point for, for others to consider if you're having yeah. this dilemma is a Regis address. There's uh, got to be co-working in Harrisburg, though. There is co-working. You're right. There is co-working space in, in Harrisburg. Yeah. yeah. All right. Which is something to consider. Mark says, I use my home verified on Google. That's my office. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. Ernest says you can use a virtual mailbox. I have one through Earth, Earth Mail. Yeah. Interesting. I, had I don't not- know what the state would feel about how the state would feel about that. Well, I don't care about that. I just want it for the Google business list. Oh, you know what no, I mean? No, no. Like I, I don't, um, I'm just trying to figure out the best solution. Cause the other thing is, uh, I think this is a big plus because that Hershey address is actually like 30 minutes from my house. And so it will create more inbound opportunities, more localized to me by me, for example, using my actual home address. Um, yeah. so and uh, Andrew actually in the Facebook group shared his uh, his Google. That's a bunch of gobbledygook. But if you if you're in the group, you can click on it and see Andrew's uh, actual Google business listing. Uh, Lance says I used my home while in transition uh, until we got our new address set up. Moving it often might create more attention. Uh, that's possible too. And I'm always scared. Like I've got a fair amount of legitimate reviews. I, you know, I've got a, a lot of content on there. I've done a lot of work to optimize that. And I'm always scared of making any change that they're like going to flag it. Um, so yeah. I'm a little, uh, you know, a little nervous about that. Uh, David says, I use my home address as well. I think that's probably what I'm going to do uh, in the short, in, in the short term. Um, all right. All right. Uh, what about using Texting your lender's Tuesday? office? Chris, I am my lender. <laughs> and we don't have a physical office here either. We're a virtual uh, mortgage uh, uh uh, yeah, I loved watching Regis. That's a different Regis, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> that's we're talking R R E G U S. Yeah, but that's a good shout there, Regis Philbin. Um, He's no okay. Michael Strahan, but you know, yeah. Yeah. One more comment here, and then I'll I'll get to the text. Uh, I have two text scripts that I want to share with you today. Soledad, um, do you have any ad copy that we can share with business owners, self employed investors, we're getting et cetera, there. on uh, non traditional financing options? Absolutely, we'll put something together as soon as possible. Uh, and then we'll create uh, an entire sort of um, suite or, or, or uh, you know, swipe. File. We're working on something. We're working on something real cool in that area. That's, yeah. yeah. Uh, so we'll, we'll put together a number of things on that. But in the meantime, Soledad, um, you, it, it's as simple as making a meme. You could make a meme or you could use a Canva image and just simply pose the question, uh, you know, self-employed question mark. Local business owner, question mark, investor, question mark. Um, you know, uh, comment below if you'd like information about special financing programs available for you. You know, it doesn't have to be, you don't have to get super technical. And quite honestly, if you do get super technical, sometimes you lose people anyway, right? Um, so just, you, that's a great place to start is just, you know, pose the question. Is this you? 
would you like more information about X? And then Soledad, get them connected with, uh, you know, Jordan or Maria or myself, um, because uh, Soledad is is one of our co-marketing partners um, for sure. So look at that. It's actually pretty easy for business owners to get mortgage mortgages. For changed online. Get look at that meme. That's great. Mortgage. I might have to oh use that one today, actually. I might have to use that yeah. one today. I love it. I'll um, share this to the Facebook group. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. All right. I'm going to share screen and I'm going to yeah. do the little mirroring because this is the it's the fastest, easiest way for me to share these scripts that I wanted to share today and give you real world examples. So, so I'm going to tie in a story here. Um, Friday, Friday, I had a listing appointment with Larry. Larry had gotten a postcard from me in August or September. Uh, a postcard using thanks.io, which by the way, go find the short if on the channel, on the Wake Up Real Estate YouTube channel. There is a YouTube short that I uh, recorded, I think Friday, uh, with the template um, of the just sold postcard and what that looked like. Uh-oh. And what that looked like. Um, and we can you can create a free account at, uh, at uh, thanks.io. You can just go there and create a free account and we can get you hooked up with all of that template, et cetera. Um, but I want to tie this all together. So I went and had this listing appointment with Larry. Larry would not have reached out to me if he had not gotten that postcard because Larry doesn't even have an email address to give me. He doesn't even have internet at his home right now. He's an older fella. He's transitioning into some managed care. Um, and uh, so that was an opportunity that would not have come about for me if I had not sent out the postcard. Okay, But that's not the point of the, the story here in the script. He won't be ready. He's he's got uh, the 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 place he's moving into to rent. He won't be moving there until uh, May first. Is that right? Yeah, it's March, May first. Um, and he even has some. He doesn't really want um, to sell the his uh, home outright until like mid May because he wants some transition window to move. All of that said. It was in the property was in the home was in a neighborhood that I had recently sold one in. Right. And I every time we get a, a property, we market it and we generate uh, interested parties. So this is an, a text script that I sent out this morning at 822 a.m. to the segment that I have in KV Core who had expressed interest in that last one, which was the, the one that I said that just sold postcard on. Hopefully you can follow it all, okay? But the point is, this script works, okay? Um, morning, Brad. Are you still looking for a double wide in Trindle Park? Now, this is a a, a mobile home park, um, and this is a, a, you know, a nice double wide home. Um, uh, BC, because I have one coming soon, and I'm sure it won't last long. Would you like me to send you more info? Question mark. Let me know. Thanks, Josh. Okay? Now, this went out to a small number of folks because... Um, I did, we didn't invest a ton of, uh, uh, money into, um, generating a bunch of leads for this property. Number one, I knew it was going to sell quickly. Number two, um, though I'm happy to take this business and these clients, um, it's not like I want a ton of double wide listings, let's say, okay. They, they require the same amount of work and in some cases more work than a traditional listing. And, um, anyway, um, this was, this was the only one that's responded so far. But um, it, it's pretty good. Uh, Josh, I'm looking for a place down at Bethany Beach. I don't need one around here. Thank you. Got you. Would you like me to refer you to a great agent down that way? Yes, please. And then uh, I immediately I immediately reached out to someone that I was pretty certain uh, in my uh, sort of my realtor sphere of influence that works in Bethany Beach. And I already handed off the referral. She already talked to Brad knows his criteria, what he's looking for, and bada bing, bada boom, out of, you know, on, on our way we go. Did I actually sell the listing that I was marketing? No. Who cares? Yeah, Who you cares? probably made a few, You pro there's a good chance you made a few hundred bucks, maybe a thousand bucks on a referral fee for... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that was number one. So that is, um, that is a script that you can use. I call that kind of like reverse prospecting. Now, it's not the the typical reverse prospecting, like the, 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 the general or the most commonly um, held definition of reverse pro reverse prospecting is when you get a, a, a listing, you go into your MLS and you can send an email to all of the agents that have 
uh, uh, clients set up on search that match that property. I'm reverse prospecting my own database. That's that's what the way I look at it. Now we do the traditional reverse pro reverse prospecting on every one of our listings. We have an entire listing launch protocol on every one of our listings. And since I mentioned it, I'm sure people are going to ask. We'll we'll share that protocol and that checklist with anybody. We'll get that. Uh, we'll get it added to the community Insight. site and wake up site. Um, yeah. uh, but that that is part of the process. And so that script. That script works great if you have a coming soon listing. That script works great if you have a for sale by owner that agrees to pay you a finder's fee, quote unquote, a finder's fee or a commission. And, and, and you know, it gives you a reason to message your database. Uh, and it could be your entire buyer database. If you have a way of uh, segmented, segmenting it down to ones that are more likely to be interested in that property, great. But if not, who cares? Do something. Take some kind of action create some conversation opportunities because you'll get a bunch of people that say, you know, that's not really what I'm looking for. Or I'm not really looking in that school district or I'm really looking for this. And then it opens the conversation, the lines of communication. So you can find out, can I help this person? How and when? I wonder if you could call that something as you approach first time home, uh, Fizbo's, you know, can, can I do like a recon? Would you like me to do a recon for you? Hey, or listen, something? Words matter. Let's come up with a, let's come up with a clever, yeah. Uh, you know, a clever way of framing that. I, I like that. I mean, it, it certainly wor words words make a you know have a dramatic yeah. impact on uh, response rates and so forth. So that's the that's the first one that I wanted to share. But I did want to share one other one as well, just because I've been using this a lot, and I hinted at it. I think yesterday, or maybe it was last week. So in KB Core, I can they have there's a dashboard in KB Core, and you can see people that are looking at properties, favoriting properties, coming back to search for the first time in a while. And whether you're using KB Core or you're using, uh, you've got people set up on MLS searches. Like I can see, I have Ryan set up on an MLS search in my area. And I can see, you know, every morning Ryan's looking at properties, right? Um, you know what time I woke up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, and, you know, you can do this in KB Core, but you can do it elsewhere as well. It doesn't have to be KB Core, right? Um, but for a while... I had a script that we were using to follow up with those folks. And quite honestly, it wasn't really getting much response or like any response. So recently I thought, oh, I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to change the scripting uh, and be more direct with the communication. So Ryan's kind of showing you how you can play around with the dashboard. Yeah, you can filter and, by property views and, and things like that right here. Yeah. And I'll show you in a minute, I'm going to show you on my phone again, I'll, I'll share my screen again, and I'll show you on the KV Core app, how you can do that very simply as well. And I'll give you the script that I'm using now for folks that are actively looking at property. So without, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and do that. Let me uh, mirror here. And I apologize. Don't hopefully we're not giving you a headache with the screen repeating there. But so this is the script, and then I'll show you how you can find this activity on the app, the KV Core app. Um, morning, Isabel. Morning, Isabel. If it was the afternoon or the evening, you know, afternoon, Isabel, or, you know, evening, Isabel, whatever. Or it could just be Isabel. Or you don't even have, if you don't have their name, just drop that off. Who cares? Thought this listing might be of interest to you. And it's the listing. Um, and it's the most recent listing that Isabel was looking at on the site in the dashboard. <laughs> Would you like to schedule a private VIP tour? Question mark. LMK. Let me know. Thanks, Josh. Okay. Now, how do you find that? In uh, on the app, if you if you tap on the activity, which is up in that top row there, where it says inbox activity notifications, and then you can choose. It, right now, it's set to all activity. If you click on that, you can show property views or showing requests, valuation. You can choose any number. Um, but I, what we're doing with these is property views, property views. Now, there is a canned script that is inside the KV Core app. I don't use that one. I don't like that one. I'm changing it to what I just, uh, just showed you. So if I tap on uh, Ahmad here, I think it's Ahmad, actually, is how you pronounce it. You can see my note at the top. He's actually an investor um, and has approximately 170000 in cash. How do I know that? I know that because I had a great conversation with him uh, using the uh, predictive prospecting script that we shared probably back in week one on this show. 
uh, that we'll have to, now that I mention it, we'll have to add to the notes of this one again. Um, but it's just a script that uh, I've been using and our mortgage team is using to reach out to actively engaged folks um, to you know, find out information like this. Are they looking for a home for themselves or are they an investor? What are they looking for? Uh, you know, how, how can we help this person? How can we help this person? And when can we help this person? Anyway, he viewed this property. He viewed this property. So if I tap on that property, I can text, if it loads up here for me, I can, uh, I can text, maybe not. You want to share the property? Yeah, it doesn't want to. It doesn't want to cooperate with me. Actually, here, here's the deal. I, I'm actually going to escape here. I've actually been doing this in my KB Core, not on the app. I wanted to show how you could find the activity feed on the app, but let me actually pull up KB Core and show you how I'm doing that in there. Now, hopefully, YouTube doesn't flag this because we've been getting uh, some of my past texting Tuesday have been getting flagged because I'm showing personal information. You know, email really? names and so forth. Yeah, that somehow they're 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 flagging that. Um, but I wanted to show real quick for those of you using KB Core what that looks like. Um, because I know we have a lot of KB Core KB Core users who uh, watch the Wake Up Real Estate Show. Um, and I'm assuming this is taking a while because I'm I'm sure. Yeah, screen share. it's the stream in the same yeah. window. Yeah. Yep. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the screen share for a minute. You want here, me to so share mine? Well, uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. That's perfect. Where am I going? So just go to a, just go to a dashboard and, and and click on any one of those. Any one of those. Any one of these. Yeah. It doesn't matter. So uh, ah. this is Barb here, and yeah, what, what was that face? No, I was I was wondering if KB Core was on the fritz because it was wasn't loading for me. Oh, it's low, low. and I, I think it's probably because we're, we're we're just bogging things out. So uh, we don't have a workable uh, text message for her. So if you click, if you go to that listing there, uh, and you click email, here's the right. email script. I gave you this is perfect because I gave the text script. But what if you don't have their cell phone number or you can't text them? This is perfect. So I changed the subject line to Barb, her first name. Okay, and then the script that I'm using by email is. You know, morning, Barb. Thought this. Oh, leave that there. Leave that there. So, morning, Barb. Thought this listing might be of interest to you. And then the listing. And if you, uh, you know, if you click on the end there, and and uh, it'll hyperlink it. There you go. Uh, and then I say, uh, would you like to schedule a private VIP tour? Question mark. Line break. Let me know. Thanks, Josh. You know or whoever this is coming from. Okay. I'm, I'm, yes. Is this a little bit sneaky? Cause we already know that they looked at the listing. Yeah, but whatever, right? Like, um, it is what it is, right? If it, and if they ask, well, how did you know that I was looking at that one? Uh, you know, you can, you can, you can answer that however you'd like. You could say, well, you know, we can see in our system that you looked at it a few times, or, you could just say, well, I, you know, I kind of thought by the criteria that you had told me before that this one might be of interest. You can answer that however you want. OK, um, honestly, I don't know that I've had anybody ask me that, but I just we've been doing yeah. this long enough that I know the objections or the, uh, the, 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 the thoughts that come into our listeners heads. Um, but uh, I what I can what I know is I'm getting a lot more engagement and responses from this than the script we were using before for this specific incidence. Or yeah, this would be really cool as an automated KV core feature, but it might be like playing with fire. Um, yeah. You know, cause you don't want to do it too much. You don't want to do it to everybody who searches or every yeah. time, but but strategically it's really cool. Yep. So uh, Soledad said, thank you, awesome ideas. Um, can you show other examples like in Stellar MLS instead of KV core? So Stellar, I would assume, Okay, I would assume, I don't know this for sure, but I would assume that, so uh, let me tell you how Bright works. And I'm going to assume that Stellar does something. Similar. I actually have Stellar, so I'll take a look while you're talking. Yeah. Every morning at like five in the morning, I get an email from Bright MLS and it tells me Ryan Hartman was looking at properties, William Davis was looking at properties, and it shows me the properties that they were looking at. And so 
you can pull up that client in whatever your CRM is, or just pull them up right in Stellar MLS. And you can email them. You can email them through Stellar if you want. Mm -hmm. You can text them. Don't do it at five in the morning when you see the email, but you can text them. You can text them directly on my on your phone. Um, and if you don't have an easy way to link to the uh the the listing, you can mention that you could just pull in, you know, you know, I thought the the listing at this address might be of interest to you. Let me know if you'd like uh, you know, if you'd like to schedule a VIP tour, a private VIP tour. Um but that's how, and, and if that's not automatically set up like that in Stellar, I got to believe that you can edit the settings for yourself to be notified. Um, yeah. It has to be. Stellar is pretty robust. I'm pretty sure you can. I just don't know how to do it because I haven't used the feature. I'm looking now. But yeah, th- I mean, part of this, guys, is just take the strategy and then go figure it out. You can ask Stellar Support Direct. Like, how do I do this? Yeah. And then they'll tell yeah. you. Uh, pivoting slightly, will you do a partial segment sometime soon on Facebook rules or Facebook marketplace rules so we can benefit from using it and not get into trouble? Um, well, go back and watch Fridays and look at the notes from Laura. Laura posts once a week. She posts an actual listing. The only thing she's doing that's maybe a little gray hat is for the listing price. She puts it at a dollar. She doesn't put the actual listing price which means more people are going to reply because they're going to ask what the price is, et cetera. Um, I, I would just follow her best practices. We can certainly do that. And I'm trying to figure out a workaround for me to do that again here locally because it's working so well for Laura, uh, Laura and others that I, w- I want to, you know, I want to take advantage of that and I'm banned um, because I didn't, follow those. I was posting too frequently. I was posting, breaking their sort of terms of use, et cetera. Um, but, but go check out Friday's session. And the, the so episode 20 and episode 15, and I put together a Google doc with Laura's notes and, and, um, and points. And that's a great place to start, you know? So she posts once a day, she posts Saturday morning, she actually posts, she doesn't, if I was understanding her correctly, she doesn't actually post pictures of the property. She posts like street views, like she'll post a street view of the property, but she doesn't post interior pics. It's more like posting the area. And so she's being vague on purpose to get people engaging and replying. Um, and, you know, the big thing is she's, she's reply she's responding. And, and she notes right in there that it it's it's hard work, but it's worth it. From the last one that she did, from the number she shared, so we shared the, her email on Friday. Her Saturday prior to that, so two Saturdays ago, she had generated three clients from it already. Someone bought the listing. It was her listing. Somebody bought that listing or went under contract on that listing. And then another one that was a cash buyer and another one that I think even had a home to sell or something like that. Um, so, I mean... Uh, the answer is yes. And, and the way I would need to do it is I need to figure out how to make it work for me. You know, what the workaround is, whether I hijack my wife's account, which she's not going to love. Um, Can you create a uh, new Facebook account or is that a little I mean, hard? I guess I could, but I, yeah. I don't know. I don't want it to be like, I don't want them to, I don't know. I don't want to jeopardize my, my actual one. I have to think through it the best way to, uh, to, uh, sort of navigate and that. pages can't pages can't post in market no not anymore or if you can still it's going away very 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 soon and, and what i would say is even when you could for whatever reason their algorithm just favored your personal profile in other words you could do the exact same thing and you're going to get far fewer replies if you do it from your facebook business page versus um you know, versus, uh, you know, your personal profile. So um, more to come on that, but I would highly recommend just go back and, and, and look, watch those sessions and just go through Laura's notes there. I mean, uh, that's a good place to start. And as long as you don't get too aggressive with posting and you're not breaking other terms um, of service for them, you should be fine. You should be fine. Uh, Ernest. Are you disabling registration? Question mark. I tried this once with Connect MLS, and some users got angry because 
KV Core was requesting they re-log in emails work, but not the text. Yeah. I don't know what you, you mean. You can. I've not gotten any of that. Yeah. Well, it depends what your registration settings are set for when you send them to the listing. But I think you Maybe can. Maybe I'm add... misunderstanding what he means. Connect MLS with KV Core. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. If you're using KV Core, like I would do it mainly in the dashboard. The only reason I was bringing up the MLS is if you don't have KV Core or you don't have a site that does something like that where you can see users who are looking at properties, right? You all, I, I would think anyway, you all have an MLS platform that you can do something similar. So I was just trying to give like other ways that you could leverage the idea, let's say. Uh, Lance, how important is Facebook to our success? Um, there are many different roads to success, Lance. Yeah. So it's just a tool. Um, yeah. It's just a platform, right? There are. You, yeah. You I mean, could live not, on LinkedIn. You could live on LinkedIn and do all this stuff locally, and and probably have similar results. There's just totally. Facebook's had Facebook's had a lot of the eyeballs. I mean, uh, pick. Probably best practice is to pick one: Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest, whatever your your jam is, and, and run with it. I'm going to share Ernest's last two comments here because that that'll tee up something in the future that we'll have to put together for everyone, and then we'll kind of wrap up and come in for a landing here because it's been another marathon session. Have you tried creating your own group page for a community? I have. Uh, I haven't been consistent enough with it, but it is a great strategy, and there are many examples. Ryan, I remember interviewing. Some folks, I don't even remember where, years ago on the yeah. Inside Real Estate YouTube channel who were killing it with a yep. Facebook group. Um, so it's, but it's like anything, and it, it actually ties into Lance's question. If you, you know, it does, you don't have to use Facebook. Whatever channels or medium you choose to run with, just be consistent. Yeah. And there that's... are lots of ways to get business. And that's what we're doing here with this show, guys. Just just we picked YouTube and said we think YouTube's a great place to be. It probably is for all you watching, really, if, if you especially if you want to catch the younger crowd. Yeah. Um, and you got to do it almost every day. So if you create a Facebook group for 727 real estate deals, you know, and this is probably something I would do, Josh, if I really wanted to do yep. transactions, um, just start posting a deal of the day in that group. But it's got to be every day, even when you're not getting results early on. And there's, you could go direct the real estate approach, or you could go like Ernest mentioned on here, right? Where you're yeah. just the moderator of a, um, a page that isn't necessarily directly real estate, or it could be for a specific community or subdivision, right? So there are kind of three different and they could all work, Yeah, but it, the consistency is going to be the critical well, component there. And I'll share one thing that, that I'm learning personally. I think you are too, as we do the, this show, um, I, I'm getting this. We, when we get distracted into other channels, like I had a little fun with the website or if we're like, Oh, we should cross post to Facebook and everything. It sacrifices content and content's yeah. the more important thing. So, you know, yeah. think about the channel you want to be on and just hammer that for a long time before you branch off. Probably. This is a question that I don't want to start today. Cause this will, this will be a long answer. Yeah. So maybe tomorrow we'll address this. But what I will say is 100% not TikTok. Okay. Can I I'm not saying you, you can't or shouldn't post. If you're making short form video content, sure, go ahead and use TikTok, but don't have that be the foundation of your business if you were to quote unquote start again. Uh, can I ask, can I do a shameless topic. can I do a shameless plug? Because I this is what TikTok is really for, and I, I really need help getting oh subscribers to the daily booger this is my channel that uh i i was trolling my kids for about two weeks posting something up my nose every day just to prove i could get more views than them and it worked you just never know what you're gonna get here on the wake up real estate show you just yeah, the daily yeah. booger on tiktok uh subscribe it won't help you in any shape way or form no, with your real not estate at all business. it might make you dumber but yeah, yeah. Probably, oh, that's guaranteed <laughs> <laughs> all right so number one uh 130 eastern today we're doing a, uh, a bonus session here. How to take more listings using iList technology. It's you work too hard. I'm going back to the camera. I know, seriously. You, you I, webinars. I like, but I love this. I love this stuff. I love this stuff. It'll be live streamed on the channel, uh, which means you should subscribe and you should sma sma smash the bell so you're notified when we do go live. It also means that as soon as we're done, 
it'll be available on replay. So if you miss it, you can check out the recording as soon as that session is sort of wrapped up. Um, you can check out the replay of yesterday's session, scrolling yeah. on the bottom, nonqmclass.com, how to use non-traditional mortgages to help more clients and sell more homes. Uh, that was a great little session, info session, et cetera. Um, we will, uh, tomorrow, we'll be back, same same bat channel, same bat station. We're going to add the resources mentioned to the, uh, the the site and to the community tab on yeah. uh, on the YouTube channel. And guys, pay attention to the YouTube descriptions. I think just to make it easier for everybody, we're going to get better about putting the resources in the descriptions. I, we're pretty good about it, but but we're just look down below in the description as you watch this. We're um, still finding our flow here, you know, the best yeah. way to do this and, uh, and, and make sure that we make good on all of that so that for those of you, you know, when you want to dig deeper into a topic that we're, we're making it as easy and as possible. Can I do a little teaser? Uh, thanks that I always got an awesome just listed, just sold thing coming. It's like amazing for just. Oh, sold, that's just a perfect kind. Like, so those just sold and just listed postcards for me personally have been the two that have generated the most amount of actual client opportunities Listings. since I went back to actively selling. Would you say listings or both probably with the just listings? Uh, both, like, both. Yeah. Well, because, you know, sometimes those listings are people that, you know, they're they're downsizing or they're trading up. Um, and we've had success with others. I'm not saying that I haven't had success with others, but those have been the most successful uh, just listed and just sold cards, both for response rates and for actual, you know, actual clients closed uh, transactions. Thanks, Adrian. Yes, thank you, thank you. Make sure you subscribe, rate, and review if you're listening to this on your favorite podcast platform. If you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, subscribe, comment, share, tag somebody in your office, tag a referral partner. Notification and, uh, bell. Yeah, smash that notification bell. We'll be back tomorrow. Thank you so much to all of you for the great comments and interaction yeah, and, and uh, giving us great ideas for future future shows. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow or maybe later. <laughs>